Hi, this is um, vlog entry number one in my um, dreadlock and marathon training um, journey, I guess you can call it. Uh, so I plan to do a video like, I don't know, maybe once or twice a week um, just to document this journey for myself and anyone else who is interested. So today um, I have two purposes for this uh, entry and um, so one is I just want to share where I'm starting from um, and also share the pact that I've written for myself to keep me focused while on this journey. Uh, it's going to be challenging in a lot of ways and so I want to have clear um, expectations for myself and uh, just some reminders about why I'm doing it. Uh, so starting point um, for hair, you can see that it's kind of frizzy and interesting looking uh, because today I washed it and stopped using conditioner. And I also dyed my gray because, I don't know, I'm just not quite ready for gray dreadlocks. Um, and really I'm only like 20% gray, so it's not like a big deal, but I like brown hair. So I did that. And um, and just physically, as far as the injuries that I've been overcoming, um, my shoulder is amazing. Like, I can just about say I have no pain at all. Um, I just have some little, like, I don't know really even how to describe them, but just some little twinges here and there. But uh, where I was four months ago uh, to where I am now is just phenomenal. It's so amazing. I can put, I don't know if you can't really see, I can't find my fingers through all the hair, but anyway, I can reach way above my bra strap now and it doesn't hurt or anything. So I'm just really pleased. And not that that really affects marathon training or dreading necessarily, but, um, anyway, it's pretty awesome. So knees, knees are doing really, really well. I ran three days in a row this week and I think that might've been a little too much. I was talking with my friend Carrie who does ultra marathon running and she said that starting out in her training, she only ran three days a week. So I think I'll do that just every other day. Um, and I think I have decided to aim for running my first marathon in the spring. So I'm going to do th three days a week running and see how my knees go and talk with some professionals like my chiropractor and uh, some other running coaches and just see what they think. And then I'll just pick a race for the spring and get signed up as soon as I can. So I have that deadline to work towards. So now I'm going to share my pact. I just wrote it briefly in my journal and I'm going to write it out again and you know nicely and so I can put it up where I see it every day and uh, probably be a good idea to read it every day because there's definitely going to be some challenging um, some challenges coming up along the way so first I will keep my dreads for at least one year I know it may be hard at times but it will be worth it and it will get easier um, I've had dreadlocks before and I absolutely loved them and I was sad to have to cut them but they were dirty hippie dreads and I was hitchhiking around California and got probably I think they might have been cow lice I mean they were huge and I couldn't seem to kill them so anyway had to cut those ones off I'm still doing my video honey can you go outside for a couple more minutes I'll come get you as soon as I'm finished Thank you. Um, and the second point, I will continue my marathon training despite setbacks and obstacles. I will look for the challenges so that I can face them head on and conquer them as quickly as possible. Um, with anything that's really worth it in life, there's going to be challenges. So uh, after reading um, The Compound Effect from Darren Hardy, one thing I've really been trying to do is in all areas of my life, look for the challenges because they're going to be there uh, rather than waiting until they become a real problem. I'm going to look for them, face them quickly. Uh, I am focusing on gaining mental and physical strength, not on weight loss. Uh, so when I first started my um, health journey, I was you know, like a hundred pounds overweight. And so my biggest focus was losing weight. And now I find myself obsessing over that still. And I, I probably have 10 pounds that I can lose and, um, and that would be great. But I, 
having that as my focus just doesn't really make um, make the sense anymore that it used to. So uh, I think that's really been holding me back. And even though I really say and think that I'm wanting to change my body composition and um, not necessarily focusing on the number, but still focusing on, um, you know, changing the way my body looks. And I just don't think that that is really serving me well. So focusing on the mental and physical strength that it's going to take to, um, to run a marathon, pretty big stuff. So um, I am doing this for myself as a journey of self-discovery and to help me truly fall in love with myself. This is not about ego, but about true, healthy self-love and appreciation. So yeah, that's <clears throat> pretty self-explanatory, kind of a big deal. Almost done. Um, I am listening to me. I am my guide on this journey. I am seeking the counsel of professionals, but I am my ultimate guide. So um, a lot of times I have these big crazy ideas and sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. But I think sometimes the reason that they don't is I don't listen to myself. So I listen to myself when these ideas come, but then I start thinking, oh, well, whatever. I just end up focusing too much on outside influences. And so this point in my pact is to remind me to listen to myself and be true to myself. Um, so oh, the last one, this is a fun one. Um, I'm <clears throat> giving each child and Ian, my husband, um, a dread to decorate. This will remind me of my commitment to seeing this journey through to the end. So uh, my biggest commitments in my life are my family, of course. So I, I was thinking um, of like wearing a certain color or doing something that would be a, a, just a, a, a constant physical reminder of what this journey means and why I'm committing to it. Um, but then I thought it would be fun to decorate my dreads and... and so by giving each of my family members one to um, kind of be in charge of, the, those will be my constant reminders there with me every day. So they can pick beads or threads or whatever. I'll just give them some ideas, point them in the right direction, and then let them have fun with their own dread. So I guess this is getting kind of long now, almost eight minutes. So I will wrap things up. And um, thanks so much for watching, and I'd love to hear from anyone who has uh, anything that they want to share or comment about this. So have a great day. Bye.